make yourself comfortable and come listen to the story. Kotlaqiu was the earth goddess of old Mexico. She had 400 sons, who were the stars in the southern sky, and she had one daughter, Koyoksakwi, the goddess of the night. One day, when Kotlaqiu was sweeping the floor, she found a ball of feathers. She picked it up and tucked it tidily into the waistband of her skirt of snakes. But Kotlaqiu didn't know that the ball of feathers held a powerful magic. It was not long before Kotlaqiu realized she was expecting another baby. She had no idea that it was because of the magic ball of feathers. When Kotlaqiu told her children what was happening to her, they became very angry. You are too old for this sort of thing, said Koyoksakwe. Tell us who is the father of your child. But Kotlaqiu couldn't tell her because she didn't know. All her sons were angry with her too. In the end Koyoksakwe was so furious with her mother that she chased her out of the house. Kotlaqiu ran away from her home and through the mountain paths, but all her children were following her, shouting and waving weapons. What should I do? moaned Kotlaqiu. Then things got worse, because as Kotlaqiu reached the top of Kotapek Mountain, she felt a bad pain. The baby is coming, she cried. She lay down on the ground and gave birth, not to a baby, but to a fully armed warrior. His skin was blue and gold, and he carried a flaming sword. Huitzilopochtli was his name, and he was, in fact, the son. He leaped to his mother's defense, because her other children were trying to kill her. In spite of being just born, he killed his sister, the goddess of the night, and most of his star brothers. The other brothers ran away and hid in the south. And so it happens every morning that the sun puts the night and stars to flight. Thank you to listening to the story and see you soon.